Hello, I'm Chris Hayden with CW Hayden Company from Auburn, Maine. Today I'd like to run a video on how to polish using purple finishing film and 3M Trizac polishing papers and some compounds as well. Uh, I have a painted steel panel here that I've unfortunately sanded through because it was very uneven. So I'm going to work in just the center of it. You can see right now that it's flat white. It's a urethane paint that's on there and there's a lot of it. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is, at the, my first step has been prior to this operation, I've sanded it to 400 grit to get a kind of a flat, sort of a uniform finish on there that's suitable for paint prep. My first step in this operation is to change the 400 grit scratch to a P1200. So I'm using some P1200 3M purple finishing film and I'm going to sand these all wet, just damp, so that we uh, reduce the loading. These are very fine grits and they would they would tend to pill and load and leave horrible marks. So we sand a little bit damp, not wet. Uh, if you use too much water it'll it'll float and hydroplane across the surface reducing the efficiency. So again the first step is P1200 to remove the 400 grit scratches and set it up for the Trizac polishing steps coming up next. I'm going to spray it off, wipe it down, and visually inspect to see if there's any 400 grit scratches that are left on the surface. I see a lot of pores, but I don't see any 400 grit scratches. There's some big scratches over here. Okay, so our next step is going to be the Trizac foam disc in a, uh, I have a, a 3000 grit and I have a 5000 grit. So we're going to jump from 1200 to 3000. And again, you need to run it wet. This is a foam product that's actually porous, so some of the water is being drawn up into my vacuum at this point. I'll rinse it off, wipe it down again with a fresh paper towel. These Trizac discs are 3M's patented micro-replication technique where the grits are actually piled on top of each other into little pyramids. So as you use the disc, it actually wears down flatter and flatter. It allows you to run a 5,000 grit disc that would normally be just a single layer of abrasive for a very long time because there's tremendously more abrasive on this disc. The foam backing gives you conformability and gives you the ability to bridge small variables and uh, imperfections in the surface and also keep the heat down. Good. Now we can change from the 3000 to the 5000 grit. And actually, they're not going into my vacuum. There are no holes in the backup pad. Start with it damp again. Now when I sand, I'll always go north, south, east, west with an overlapping action so that I make sure I cover everything thoroughly and also uh, don't leave any spaces unsanded.
I don't know if you can see this or not, but the surface is already beginning to reflect the lights overhead. It's a very fine grade. And if I dry it, the reflection will come up quite, quite nicely. So at this point, we're done sanding step, and we're gonna switch over to a polishing step. So we switched over to a right angle buffer using the quick disconnect system. This is a foam pad, a white foam pad. It's the initial step for the perfected EXAC rubbing compound. 3M has tried to keep this uh, simplified a little bit by putting a number one on the label so you know that that's your first step after sanding with 3000 to 5000 grit. It doesn't take a whole lot. Smear it around a little bit first so you don't just sling it. Set your speed to around 2,000 RPM. So that's the first step. I'm going to put a little bit more on there. Okay, so for the next step, we switch out our backup pad to a black foam pad. It's a little bit different density, it's a little bit softer. It's also clean, so it doesn't have the initial step, the initial cut down from the EXAC. So we're going to the just the EX machine polish at this point. This is the gray version. Hopefully it doesn't fill the pores. Now this is just a small surface, it's not, so we don't have a lot of area to cover, so it, it goes pretty quickly. Um, it's now prepped to the next step. It's getting glossier, but it's not perfect yet. So for the third step, we use a blue backup pad with the Perfected EX Ultra Fine Machine Polish. This is a very, very fine compound. It is not a filler, it is not a wax, it's just a compound, so what we actually end up with is a finish surface that has no gloss at, uh, additives to it. It's just the glossy surface that we have. And we'll just wipe off any residue. And we have a bright, glossy finish ready for delivering to the customer. So that's the process. It's five steps, six if you count the initial cut down to 1200, from 1200 grit, uh, and the one, two, three polishing system from 3M uh, with a perfected system. Thanks for watching.